I'm gonna use my teacher now, Mr. Ezra. Can I go to the, can I go to the bathroom? <laughs> Um, so I assume people sounded. Teenagers are always teenagers. <laughs> teenagers you know? are always, Mr. Ezra, can I go to the bathroom? What's up, everybody? My name is Nick. I'm Mike. We are the Buzz Murph. Today on the Game House, we are playing Ezra and Nehemiah, Boom. which is by Garfield Games, who are sponsoring this playthrough. Thank you so much, Garfield Games. We love you to death. But yeah, <laughs> this is a game all about trying to rebuild Jerusalem. Absolutely. So we are rebuilding the city walls and gates, the uh, temple and altar, teaching the Torah and more. And this has been labeled as kind of like a greatest hits of Garfield yeah. Games. You'll see the DNA of other great games from Garfield in this one. And talking about that, we will... Uh, show you an overview of the game. There's also a campaign for Ezra and Nehemiah going on real soon, so it'll be a, a page that you can follow, uh, or if the campaign's live, go right to that in yeah. the description of this video. So check out an overview for Ezra and Nehemiah. In Ezra and Nehemiah, players are Israeli exiles who are returning to Jerusalem to rebuild the city. The game takes place over three rounds, each consisting of six turns and then the Sabbath. On their turn, a player will play a card to one of three slots on their player board. Each card will have banners in the top left and these will dictate what action the player can do that round and the strength of said action. So if the card had two blue banners and one gray banner, they can do the blue action with the strength of two or the gray action with the strength of one. But as you play more cards to your board, you will get to use the banners on other cards as well. So if I played this card here and I wanted to do the red action, I would use all of the red banners and have a strength of seven. As the game goes on, cards will get placed behind your player aid here and give you permanent banners as well. Note that you only have three slots for cards, but you will play six cards in a round. So you will have to cover these cards up. Each stack can have a maximum of two cards. So at the end of the round, you will have three stacks of two cards. So plan accordingly. Now let's go over the three colors of actions. Each action has two things that you can do and you're always allowed to do both if you can afford to. The gray action is how you clear rubble and rebuild the walls of the city. First, you will choose a wall space that you will work on this turn. You may clear the rubble if there's any from that space. Clearing rubble costs gray banners. Black cubes are cinders and cost one gray banner to remove. White cubes are stone and brown cubes are wood and they each cost two banners to remove. And gold cubes are gold and they cost three banners to remove. So if I had four banners, I could remove this wood and this stone. Rubble you remove goes to your player board. If you clear the last rubble off a space, you will gain the blessing shown in that space. Once all three of your blessings have reached a space, you will gain the bonus on top. The other gray action you can do is build a section of wall. This costs the resources shown in that space and the amount of banners. You will then draw three wall cards, choosing one to place in that space, and you'll gain the benefit shown on the card. And then you will place one of the two unused cards on top of your wall deck and the other one on the bottom of your wall deck. There are also multiple spots for gates, and you can build these gates and take ownership of them as well. If anyone builds next to the gate, they and the owner of the gate will gain the benefit at the top of the gate. The next color banner is red. These have to do with the temple and the altar. At the beginning of this action, you may pay the bread cost and place one of your workers in the temple as a Levite. How many Levites you have determines how many resources you can deliver to the temple and the altar. So if I had three, I can deliver three resources. At the temple, you may deliver stone, wood, or gold. Where you place it in the temple will dictate how many banners you will need. Note that you do not have to work from bottom to top and you will gain the bonus on the right of a row when you place a resource. Placing wood or stone will gain you one point and placing gold gains you two points. You may also deliver resources to the altar to move up the altar track. You may pay cinders to move up the altar once and wood to move up the altar twice. Cinders cost one banner and wood costs three banners. As you move up the altar, you will gain the bonuses you cross. At the end of the round, you will gain bonuses or punishments depending on where you are in relation to the profits. The farther right, the better. The last color banner is blue. The two actions for blue are teaching the Torah and tenting around the city. To tent around the city, you will use blue banners and move according to this table. Every bonus your tent moves past, you will gain. To teach the Torah, you will need to put out workers as scribes. You may place a scribe on any empty scroll as long as there is a claimed scroll beneath it. Though you will need to pay the players whose pieces are below you. The bottom row gives you the Zerubbabel, Ezra, and Nehemiah cards which give you a bonus and then become permanent banners. The middle two rows give you access to special powers like this one that says whenever you build a wall or gate, you get a discount of one stone. And the top row will give you endgame scoring. 
Each row will have a banner and a silver or gold cost to place a scribe there. So those are the main actions, but there's more you can do on your turn. You may always do one of two auxiliary actions. The first auxiliary action is trading with the card you just played. Each card you play has a possible trade at the bottom that you may carry out at any point on your turn. The second auxiliary action is turning over a development tile. These will cost the resources in the top left and you will gain the bonus on the right and then flip the tile over. The flipped sides will be stronger and they'll be worth end game points. At any point on your turn, you may also place out workers as traders and elders. These give you immediate bonuses like resources or even extra banners, though they will stay there until the end of the round. Okay, so those are the things that you can do on a turn. Once all players have taken six turns, the Sabbath happens. If any players have this Sabbath symbol, they will gain the benefits shown next to it. Then they will place all of their leftover workers as farmers to gain food or laborers to gain some resources. Then players will see the Prophet's Judgment, which is shown on this card. If you are behind the back Prophet, you will usually gain a punishment shown on the left side of the card. If you are in between the Prophets, you will gain the benefit in the middle, and if you are in front of the front Prophet, you will gain the benefit on the right. You will then feed all of your workers one food per worker. Note that this does include your workers who are scribes and gatekeepers, but not your Levites as they're fed by the temple. The last thing that you will do during the Sabbath is tuck one of the six cards you played this round behind your player aid. All of your player cards have Sabbath scoring at the top. You will then score all of your tuck cards. Note that tucking a card also gives you more permanent banners for subsequent rounds. Once the Sabbath is finished, you will reset for the next round to continue. At the end of the third round, the game will end and you will move to end game scoring. At the end of the game, you will convert resources to silver and then score one point for every five silver. You will gain two points for every flip development tile. You will score three points if you're the leader on the altar track. You will score points for every one of your walls and claimed gates. You will gain points for the rows that your scribes are in and then finally score any scrolls you have claimed in the top row. And at the end of all that, the player with the most points will win. We built this wall. We built, like, I can literally say we built the city. Why did I why did even change it? Yeah, you're right. We built this city. We <laughs> built the city back. We are, yeah. Uh, gonna build the dung We built gate. this city in Jerusalem. Oh, I like that. Boom. Boom, that's what we're here to do. Uh, that's one of the things we're here to do. We're here to teach the Torah, build up the temple and stuff. But yeah, it's a time of rebuilding and welcoming people back. Is that Torah stuff? Cool. Um, yeah, you know, with, they had hammers and things. They made it all <laughs> nice and nice. They had hammers. It's a pretty ancient technology. Did they have hammers back then? Yeah. <laughs> Did they realize that hitting something with another thing is good? <laughs> yeah, that's very, very uh, dumb modern mind of mine. My apologies <laughs> out there. Uh, uh, I am first player, man. You are. So what are you going to do? Again, there's kind of three kind of main oh. things. There's red banners, gray banners, and blue banners. Kind of like Viscounts, if you ever played another Garfield yep. game. It's kind of similar in terms of the, the that, right. that kind of thing. Um, Again, this is kind of a, a greatest hits, as yes. they say, of Garfield games. I, I stand by. I do think that's true. I think it's pretty accurate, yeah. Uh, I'm going to play a teacher to start. Ooh, a teacher. I'm going to play that. Uh, Mr. Ezra. Mr. Ezra, man. That's going to give me three blue banners. Can I, I go could, to the bathroom? You'd use an elder. Um, he's like back in school. They're just like, <laughs> no. Can I go to the bathroom? You know how crazy that is? So like, I go to the bathroom, like, no. You're like, I don't wow. think that we should do that. <laughs> That's odd. Um, do I want to, I could use an elder. Let me, well, let me, let me just do my main action first. Let me do my first thought because I'm thinking about tenting around the city as well. What I'm going to do with my three banners yes. is I am going to uh, commit one of my workers as a scribe. Um, and because we have these for a two-player game, I could access stuff in this mm -hmm. row. Um, man, that's tempting. Yeah. I would need to definitely use an elder to get to five yeah, to blue banners, which I could do. Mm. I think I'm gonna keep it simple though. I'm gonna do this, Make where I'm gonna put statement. a worker here, which is gonna push this up here, um, and I'll use my three banners, and I have to pay two silver, boom, to claim this, and this allows me to take this card here, which since we're in the first round, I only get the first uh, benefit, which is gonna be two food, mm -hmm. which is definitely useful, and then this tucks under my little player aid here and becomes a permanent red yeah. banner yeah. for the game. So Pretty sweet. This one right here allows me to get a gold every time you flip over a development tile, which I definitely am still interested in, but let me start there. And um, I think I will not use an elder. Hang on to my worker since Quiet. I just spent yeah. one. And it's on to you. 
Okay. Um, I draw back up a card. For we're gonna go up the altar track. Do you get the stuff you pass, or is the stuff you land on? Pass. Oh uh, yeah, pass by. If you do Classic two, Garfield you, stuff. But you want to check. Yeah, you know. anything you you land on or pass, uh, you gain. Hi, Bubbins. Hey, baby. Um, okay, so Pippin's overseeing our work and making is, sure that everything is to code. The walls are plumb. The the masonry is nice. You know, let's make sure we get this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this singer down here. So she's gonna give me three red banners. I think, oh, do I want to do that? Ooh. Oh, so I guess I, hmm, interesting, interesting. Yeah, so I'll do, so basically the, the red stuff, you can either do the altar or the, the temple up here? Yeah, you can do, and you can do both depending on how many banners you have, yeah. Yeah, but so you, you can only do, a certain amount depending on how many Levites, how many Levites. you have. That basically so, will dictate how many resources you yeah, can commit. So but you, you can to... place one to start this turn, you place a new one out. Oh, that's right. And that doesn't cost your banners, right? Okay, no. so that's, okay, I will do that. I'm gonna place a second Levi out here and that's gonna cost me two food. Right, and that'll give you a cinders as a reward. Ooh, lovely, okay, And perfect. then so those Levites can be used to, so you can make, basically do now like two yes. deliveries of goods or you can convert them into red banners if you need. Yes. That you would forego. So that's great, because I wanna do two deliveries. So I am also gonna use one of my workers here as an elder, and this elder now is going to give me an extra two banners, so I have five banners. Um, and I am going to deliver to the altar. So if I deliver wood, it's gonna cost me three of my banners, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna deliver this wood, and that's gonna blot me up two on this altar track, which is gonna be a food, and then another silver. So silver, and then food, and I have two more. And you know what, I'm just gonna blow both these cinders on it. Oh, I can't do it because I only deliver one more thing because I only have two Levi's. So I'll just do one more. Boom, and delivering a cinder costs one banner, and I'll get to bop up to here. So at the end of the round, when the Sabbath happens, you want to be essentially in front of this character here, and preferably in front of this one too, but that's pretty hard to do because the benefits are going to be better the farther you are to the right, basically. And so that basically guarantees that I'm going to be in the middle there. And I do have another cinder and I have another um, banner, but I don't have another Levite to uh, deliver. So that is, uh, that's gonna be me then. Okie dokie. Uh, you'll drop a new card and-, and I could have traded, but I don't have a gold to trade, so. Yeah, I wanted to save my food. I think, interesting, so many mouths to feed. So many mouths to feed. Mm, all right, I'm gonna play a scholar. I'll play this in my next section here. Um, this provides me the ability to use a valley gate if I want for a trade. Um, I think I will. So I have to pay a silver to the valley gate specifically. If this was owned by a player, I'd pay them, but I will instead put it here. And I can either take a stone or pay two silver to get two stone. I'll just take the one stone. Yeah, why not, right? Save my extra cash here. Uh, I'm now... Have got and you started with a stone five, and a gold, five banners, yeah, uh, a blue or I could do one, two, and red because I have my permanent one up here. Um, I think I'm gonna go for the the blue action again. So I'm gonna use all five of my blue banners. Ooh, I made a goof. You goofed it. I made a goof. Why'd you goof? Well. I spent a silver to do that trade. I'm gonna oh. undo that, actually. Is that cool? Do you mind? Yeah, because you don't have that. You, now you need three, right? Yeah, yeah, I need all three silver. <sighs> That's okay. Yeah. I was just gonna, I was like, well, let's get a, do a little trade. I'll do a little thingy. Not, not doing a trade. Not today, not ever. Asterisk um, of my wins. Because I want to go up here yeah. and use all five banners and three silver, which yeah. I had the whole time. Hold on. Um, you never saw any different. Uh, <laughs> to go up here. So now, normally you always have to go for the bottom and, you, and pay any branch branching costs. Yep. So for example, if I wanted to go here and we talked about this in the overview, I'd have to pay a silver because I'm using yep. this other worker. In this case, I'm going up through my own person. So you so actually I don't have, have to because you have no money. Uh, yeah, thank goodness. So I will go through there and don't have to pay any extra mm. money. This is also the first one placed in this row, which gives me a bread. But Nick, now you would have access to these up here even because there are money, workers. Though. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they don't have to all be yours, but it is cheaper if they are. So because I'm paying a coin for each Worker, Each work yeah, you pass so. through that isn't your own, yeah. right? So, um, tough. Okay, I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna leave it like that. Leave it, keep it simple. All right, so this ability that Mike just got is basically whenever he flips, develops, whenever he flips over one of these tiles, he's gonna get a gold. Yep. 
Exactly. Yeah, so all of these here, again, are, are special powers you can get, and all of these are going to be end game scoring. Um, I don't know. I don't have any resources, so I feel like I should build. So I'm going to put down my Maison. Um, and yeah, I'm going to put down my Mason and I can clear some rubble. So if I'm clearing a, I'm going to pick one spot. If I clear a cinder, it's one, a stone or a wood is two and a gold is three. I only have three, although I could put an elder ring at five and I kind of want, hmm. I want stone and wood. Is there a spot out there that's stone and wood? Ooh, that would be four? Hmm. How about that spot over there, over here? Yeah, I'm trying to think if there's a, another spot I can do, or I can do five, that would be great. I think we'll just do that. I think, ooh, hmm. Maybe I shouldn't do that then. I think what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna keep my three, and I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. So it's gonna cost me two of my gray banners for this stone, one of my gray banners for this cinder. So I'm gonna go boom, boom. And then because I finished clearing this off here, I am going to get a red blessing. Nice. Boom. Yeah. Okay, and then I could trade, I could turn in the stone for two coins, but I don't think I'm going to. Yeah? I don't think so. I like it. All right. All right. Um, hmm. It's tough, and I want to flip over these things, but you need so many resources to do it. <laughs> um, oh, dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get. Can I get wild? Do you mind? Can you get wild, dude? Do you mind if I get wild real quick? Yeah, you can get wild, dude. Uh, okay, I'm gonna play a musician. I'm gonna play a musician here. Um, and this is going to give me. One, two, three, four, five, six blue banners. Ooh. And I'm gonna pay six blue banners and a gold. Wow. And I'm just gonna run up to here. Now I have an option of this or this. So this oh. one right here would give me a point right now and then before the Sabbath I get two silver and I can do one of the auxiliary actions, either a trade or a develop. You should do that one. <laughs> or this one here, when you go to build, you can get an adjacent uh, wall bonus. But I think I am gonna do this one here. So I'm gonna place one of my that one's so workers killer. as a scribe. This scores me an immediate point. So now on 11. Wow, you've already gotten so many powers like that, man. I, you know, I'm just, I'm, well, you had all your blues right away, right? So yeah, it's like, I'm might like, as well. let me try to go for it. So I have to pay a gold in wow. addition to the six banners. So I have the gold. Um, and now I'm the first one on this row, and these are all worth points at the end of the game, which is showing on the right yeah. side here. But it gets me some more food. Yeah, I'm like, you know what? Let no, me try to get these powers it. as early as possible so I have the most chance absolutely. to make use of them. Yeah, and absolutely. again, this could potentially chain into this one here because if totally. I do a quick development flip, then I can get a gold out yeah, of just, it. And then on top of that, your ability here is you can turn in two food for a, a bread. So if you're a bread short, you'll get two food. Get two, two silver, So it's like, yeah. you're gonna, uh, sorry, two silver for a bread. Yeah, so it's like you, you're giving yourself some cool stuff. Me? Yeah. Me? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna go put out this carpenter. So I think, hmm, should I pay? I have a decent amount of money. And I, I could flip this for six, which does sound great, but I think I'm gonna instead pay three. I'm gonna pay one to the dung gate. Where that dung gate? Uh, dung gate's oh. right here. Yep. To the dung gate, and I'm gonna spend two more. Boom, and I'm gonna get two wood. Cool. Because I think I want to use that two wood. So I now have five red banners, which is pretty cool. We've got some stray dogs in Jerusalem these days. She uh, has a cone on her head. She has a cone on her head, cone of shame. There's a dog in there. <laughs> Hi, puppy. I've got, I have five banners. Um, and so my question is, is I could, I have two Levites, so I think what I'm gonna do is I am going to send one, one wood to the altar, and I'm gonna blop up two more for that. So I'm gonna get a yellow blessing, and then a gold um, for that one. Then I have two more banners, so it means I could deliver two, ooh, I could deliver to the altar. 
mm. not to the altar, to the temple. I am going to deliver. I'm going to deliver gold. I'm going to use my last two. You do not have to go bottom up here, but you do have to go left or right. So I'm going to put it right here. And that's going to give me a coin. And because I delivered a gold to the um, temple, I made it look cooler. I'm going to get two points for that. It's a fancy temple, man. Fancy. Nice. And then I'll get one of those coins back. Okay, cool. Very nice. Um, and then I don't think I want to do an auxiliary action. Oh, actually, I did because I traded. I don't want to do an elder is what I'm going to say. Elder or a... Or a trader. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okie dokie. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, uh, I'm torn in a similar boat to where you... I'm a similar boat to where you were a little earlier. Right. Choked on my own spit there. Um, where I'm, I'm a Choked little resource jelly bean. poor. So I'm trying to think of... I also got to start thinking about food. Yeah. You need to pay your people. Feed your people. Yeah. I'm going to play a mason now. Uh, my mason. So I'm going to get three um, gray banners. And I'm going to use an elder here to get another gray banner and a cinder. Or sorry, two more gray banners and a cinders. Um, so it's going to give me five total. And I'm going to clear this section mm. and take two banners for the wood, three for the gold to take five. This will give me a red blessing. Blurst. And uh, give me some more resources to use. I don't have enough banners or anything to use to actually build the section of wall. Yeah, but, uh, but it's but hey, definitely you know, nice. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? That's it, man. All right, I think I'm going to use my teacher now, Mr. Ezra. Can I go to the, can I go to the bathroom? <laughs> Um, so I assume people sounded. Teenagers are always teenagers. <laughs> teenagers you know? are always, Mr. Ezra, can I go to the bathroom? Um, so I could do a trade, which would be one food for two coins. I think I need to not do that because I only have two food and I am getting worried about not being able to feed my people. So I have three blue banners though. Oh, I potentially can get three more. I don't think I'm going to because I think I'm going to blop down here onto Ezra. Mr. Ezra, um, really and need to use your restroom. <laughs> I'm gonna get them. Can I have them, please? What? What? Boop. And cinders. that's gonna take me three banners and two coins. So now I have Ezra, so I'm gonna get a cinder because um, I got them in the first round here, but that's gonna give me a perma blue banner. It's not bad. Which is nice. Um, okay, and then I think, uh, I think that's it. Okay, so we have two more turns and feeling ever so slightly torn, but I think it's gonna be okay. Uh, I am going to cover up this scholar with a singer. Yeah, I gotta cover up your symbols, which is super interesting. Yeah. So you're kind of like, okay, I'm gonna do like a lot of red banners in the first half of this round, but then I'm gonna start covering them up with like gray or something like that. So right. you gotta, it's, it's an interesting way you have to work it. Uh, I'm gonna put a Levite down for two food which will give me a cinders. Cinder! Boom. Um, so I could do up to two deliveries, and I have one, two, three, four, five, and then my permanent banner up there for six. So, um, golly, I need some workers. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spend five of my six banners and I'm going to throw a stone into the temple here on the top, which will get me a new worker. And I do have to feed them, so that's the consideration, but that's pretty cool. It gives me a point. It's not as cool as Nick's edition. Um, <laughs> and then with my one leftover banner, I do have a second Levite I can use. I'll donate a, a cinders Woo! to the altar to get moving on that, which gets me a food, which again will be nice since I just got another worker. Yeah, he have a lot of food though, which is nice. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm gonna cover up this carpenter with this jeweler. This jeweler. Um, making jewels. Um, okay, so I am gonna use, I don't think I'm gonna do the trade. I am going to use the red banners, which is gonna have four red banners. And I think I am going to use all four to deliver to the altar. So I'm gonna use um, a wood, which can cost me three banners. I'm gonna get to blop twice, bam, bam. This is gonna give me a purple blessing. So now that I have all three blessings to this spot, I get this benefit, which is actually another altar bump, Ooh. which is here. And then I have one left over. I'm gonna spend that one leftover banner with this cinder oh my gosh. to bump one more time, which means I did get in front of them, which is pretty cool. In front of Haggai there. Yeah, and I'm actually, and the next turn, this is gonna move to six. So I'm already in the middle 
for that one. I was like, well, I think you can do a lot of alter bumps here. So, not bad. We'll we're see. Doing, you know, we're doing right, some we'll different see. stuff. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. I think that's all I'm going to do because I only have two Levites, so I can only deliver two things. That's it. Okay. <sighs> what you thinking, man? I'm trying to think of what's prudent. I am petrified about food. Yeah. I am a little bit too. I have seven. I need to pay for eight workers worth. So I'm going to place my gatherer here and I'm going to do the red action one more time. One, two, three, four, five now. Nice. Um, and I don't think I'm going to add a Levite to the temple and altar area because that would take three food and I think I need that food. Mm. Um, but I still have two folks. I can do two deliveries of resources and I think I'm going to have five banners. I think I'm going to use both of them for the altar here. So I'll spend a wood and three banners Worst. to go up two spaces on the Hey man, you're in front of that. Gets me a silver. You're in front of them. And then I'll use one more banner and a cinders to go one more Boop. space up just to get a little oh. bit more yeah, 100%. You know, a little forward thinking for the future. 100%. All right, I right, good. Um, do I want to do a trade to the muster gate? I do have a silver. Mustard. I would have to have another silver. Do I want to use a trader? Yeah. Hmm. I think I will. So I'm going to use a trader here and get two silver and a food, thinking of food costs. And then I'm going to do this trade down here. Um, I'll spend a... Trade to the muster gate, which is one of the neutral gates yeah. and walls up here. So this simply goes to the supply, goes yep. out of the game. Um, and I can spend one silver for a wooden stone or five for two and two. I'll spend one for one and one. One okay. wood, one stone. There we go. Uh, I'm going to do uh, this lookout here. Um, and I am going to, first of this trade, I'm just going to trade these two cinders for two coins. Okay. Um, Boom. And then I uh, am going to do the blue action. So I think I, I have one, two, three, four, and then five blue banners. So I'm gonna bop here, which means every time I put out a scribe, I can get a blessing of my choosing. Now question, Mike, do you think it would hmm. count that scribe? Um, and that's also gonna cost me three coins. Why are you gonna ask me that question? I don't know. I, mean, I don't know if it says somewhere. Or I think that, it's gonna like, be on future turn. Let that's my guess, fall. but I would love it if it was oh, now. Oh. I would take it if it was now. I don't know. How do you feel about it? I would it? say probably future. Future. But Most Shen, now. in the comments, let us know if we were wrong. Please tell me I'm Should wrong. Should Nick have been blessed just now? Should Nick have been blurred? Could be. Could but be. I'm like, I'm probably gonna do at least a couple more of these. Yeah. I think Might as well get getting blessings is very nice. My guess is like it's when you place one in. We weren't placing one in just then. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I think it's right. But yeah, we'll see. Uh, all right, Nick, we're at the end of six turns, all right? Yes. So after six days, as that represents, the seventh day is the day of yet. rest, we are at the Sabbath. For the Sabbath, indeed. So we're going to first prepare for the Sabbath. We have on the back side of your player aid here is all the information about Boop. the Sabbath. Boop. Since we're playing two-player game, we're using the other players just to have these Love on it. hand. So uh, when we prepare for the Sabbath, we're going to use any workers as farmers and laborers down here. Damn, got and it. And also, if you have any of this symbol here, these are things you can also do. So right now, I'm going to get two silver. Yeah, so yeah, I'm going to do two farmers and get four more bread because I'm going to need it to feed my people. Yeah. Um, and then I can do either a, an auxiliary action. So either uh, flip over a development tile or make a trade. I don't have any um, development tiles I could flip. I don't think I can get enough money to uh, do so. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this trade one more time. I'm going to do the mustard gate. I mean, you, can, you can kick a gold. Get I know, to get bucks, three. Yeah, and then, oh, yours is eight to flip over. Mine's only yeah. six. So I'm going to do this trade one more time. So Mustard Gate, again, is one of the neutral ones. And then I'll pay uh, yeah. a silver to get a wood and a stone, just to be prepared for the next round. And yeah, I still have enough storage good. to hold that. We are limited before we flip that over. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so that's my preparation stuff. My worker here, I think I have enough food. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven? Is that right? Eight? 
thought I got oh eight's oh, in my hand. No, I don't have enough food. Oh, one wait, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right. Oh no, I don't have enough food. Um Rat Row. I'm gonna use this worker as a laborer, and I'm gonna take two silver and a resource of my choice, excluding gold. I think I'll take wood. Okay. All right. All right. Then we're going to do the prophet's judgment here. So yes. based off where you are. So you're going to get to bring back a person. Oh, yeah. I get to bring back one of these folks and use them immediately. Oh, man. I honestly wish. Can I take the lower one? <laughs> I would prefer to have the lower <laughs> one. <laughs> oh, this is, I'm going to lose four points because I'm in the. Oh, gosh. I, just, I should have stayed one back. Mm. I'm going to use this as a farmer here and get a bread and two silver. Oh, man. Yeah. This is bad. Yeah, because I have to take a worker, which means that's one more person I have to feed. Well, question, I get this. Can I use this? Yeah, I think so. Oh, then I'm going to go here, boom, <laughs> and get yeah. two more. Now I actually can feed everyone. This is great. There you go. <laughs> yeah, if, so, I, if I can use them right now, then them, them we're fine. Okay. And again, so I pulled back a trader and recommitted them as a farmer. Yeah, so that's okay. how you do. Pull them back and immediately put them to use. Okay. Uh, okay, so we're done with that. So we are going to pay food per workers. So again, Levites don't count toward this. Anything that you have not gained from the general supply, you don't count. But anything on the board that isn't a Levite, so I have like one gatekeeper, two gatekeepers, one, two, three scribes, and then one, two, three folks is eight yep. on all my various yep, things. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I'll have to pay eight food. Boom. Okay, good. And okay. every one you can't feed or don't want, you could just choose not to feed them. It's two points lost. Which is not the end of the world, but I prefer not to do that if I can help it. Too. Okay, okay. Um, so now we're going to take the six cards we use, and we're going to choose one of them to tuck under our player aid and become a permanent banner, and will give us uh, scoring. So on the very top of the cards, as we showed during our overview, are going to be things that score on the Sabbath, including this one that we are in right now. Um, I think I'm going to do this Carpenter. Yeah. It's going to give me a permanent red banner, because you get a permanent red banner, but this basically means every one of these kind of gold spots I've reached on the altar I get one point for. I'm already at three because I'm on a spot right now. Nice. So I'm kind of like, well, that's a guarantee of nine points throughout the game. Yeah. So I'm like, kind of like, why not, right? So I'll get three for that. Nice. Similarly, I'm going to put a scholar here because there's is a you get one point plus one point per scribe. Yeah. Map. I already have three scribes. That's so four points. That's going to be a minimum of 12 over the game. Oh, that's more than what I got. Plus, again, the permanent... Well, both of us have the ability to increase the value. No, we don't. Of these. Only you do. Boom. Well, there you go. That's how the game works. <laughs> um, okay, so we tuck them. We're going to score them. Uh, so I'm going to get four points. All right, so it's going to put me on 16. Yep. Boom. Um, all right, so after, Sa after Sabbath, so we're going to quickly check to see who's further on track. It is Nick. You're going to get another worker. Man, that's a lot of people I got to feed. Don't have to be fed yet, though. I know that's scary. That's <laughs> We're scary. gonna move move the the profits up so, so uh, the Haggai's can go to nine. nine. So and I can write a six. six there. So I mean, or I can, to I eleven, can, I should say. You're gonna become first player. So I mean, I could probably stay ahead of them pretty, pretty good here. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. All right. So all of our remaining cards uh, get shuffled in the cards that we didn't draw, and we'll draw one more card to make four our hand of four, and then we're going to get our workers back okay. from our player board and start again. Boom. Awesome. All righty. So then I am first, huh? You're the first, man. Because I, I have one stone, one bread, one silver. I did not go. Oh, I need to get all these back. I did not go into this last round here with a ton of stuff. Mm. Uh, which is, yeah, kind of a boomer. So, hmm, what to do here? I could, I would need money, but let's go ahead and do I'm going to go ahead and do this teacher here. Um, oh, that's, oh, this is great, actually. So I actually am going to get, I'm going to use their trade value. I'm going to get rid of this bread for two coins. And I hope I'll be able to get all that, get my bread back. But it's only one. I'm like, it's the very first turn. Let's go for it. And that's going to give me the coins I need. Because I now have one, two, three, four blue banners. And I think I am going to take Nehemiah right here. Mr. Nehemiah. Um, and I'm going to go boom, which is going to give me Nehemiah's card. Because right. it's the second round here. I'm going to gain a gold. And the stone. Oh, you both? Yeah. Ooh, girl. 
That's right. And then now I have a permanent gray. So I have a permanent one of each. That's kind of nice. It's not really specializing, but that's okay. Yeah, you just boost um, everything. Yeah, so I'll do that and get another scribe out there. Also, because I placed a scribe, I get to bump a blessing. Oh gosh, what blessing do I think I'm not gonna get? That's a good question, man. I don't know. So we're gonna go with gold. I like that. Okay. All righty. Me? Yay! Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, that also cost me three points. Copy that. I'm gonna place my lookout here. Um, that's going to give me two gray banners I'm going to go for. And I'm also going to use uh, a worker as an elder mm. and get two more. a cinders uh, and two gray banners. Now, I'm over my limit, but that applies to the end of your turn. So right. I can be above for the moment, but I do need to get back down. So uh, I have four gray banners. I'm going to use it to clear these two wood. Mm. Um, actually, let me think about this. Hmm. Now you're gonna be out of space though. Yes, but I'm gonna use stuff. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna stick with what I did. So I'm gonna use this to clear these two, all four banners, two banners per wood to clear this off. This gets me a purple blessing, which I'm gonna go here. Now that I've brought all three of these equal, I get the Ooh. bonus above, which is a bump up the altar. And another gold. Track and another gold. So I'm way over my resources, but I can do my auxiliary action now. One of which is to yeah, flip. flip over a development tile. Mm -hmm. I am going to spend four. I spent four wood, yeah. Four wood to flip over this development tile here. Boom. So a couple things are going to happen. This is going to give me a gold as its bonus uh, for the tile itself. I also have the technology of getting a gold mm. when flipping a development <laughs> tile. Man. So I'll flip this over, and now I have better kind of rewards for my laborers, and I'm still now above my limit by two. Ooh. I wish you could do two, because you could flip this one without gold, but... I know. Next turn. Uh, I think I'm going to get rid of a cinders and a stone, because I can get the cinders easiest, so I'm going to do that and keep my gold. Nice. Yeah. Very well done. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um... Oh, interesting. Um, yeah, I kind of want to do another. Let's do this. We're going to do a lookout here. I don't think we're going to trade, but we are going to do, uh, we have now four blue banners, make it five. Uh, and I am going to use this um, worker as a trader. So give me a bread and then two coins. A bread and then two coins, and then we are going to do another scribe action. We have not been doing our tents at all. We've both been scribing yeah. like crazy. I know. That's why I get so many. Um, I am going to go here because I have five, uh, five blue banners, so they're going to bop up here. And this basically means now one is going to give me a point, and then also now when I play, bring Levites into here, I can pay one less bread. I'm two sorry, two less bread, bread yeah. which is really nice because I always want to put nice. more in here but it starts getting really really expensive bread wise and so I'm like oh that's that's pretty darn nice that is mm -hmm. pretty darn nice um so I can either go there or up here which basically means any people at gates oh that's kind of interesting any people at gates and any traders wouldn't cost me mm. no I would need to get a, a six banner somehow but that's also a very um, interesting proposition. Bad, okay, and I think that's gonna be me because I'm not gonna do any trades or anything else. Okay. Well, I think I'm gonna do this. <laughs> I'm gonna play my soldier here. And I am gonna do the gray action again. I'm gonna real quick use a trader to get a food and a stone. Boom. And I'm going to focus again on this area here and use the three banners I have, one, two, three gray banners, uh, and pay a wood and two stone to place a wall card. So here we take three cards from this. I can examine them. I'm going to choose one of them. It's going to give me the bonus. Um, I'm going to take this, which is going to give me two food. And then now we've made a connection between a, a, a gatekeeper here and a wall. So since we are both connected to this, we will both get the bonus here of a stone and a silver. 
That's nice. If it was just you on both sides, you would be the only one who would get something. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, that's not bad. I'll choose one of these to go on the top, one on the bottom of my uh, stack. I think I'll Kinda go. Paladin Z. Little Paladin Z. Uh, Mike, I'm sorry. I forgot to get a blessing when I put out that. Um... Wow. Too late. Too late. Too late. Um, okay, so that is that. I think I'm going to uh, spend three gold to flip over this development tile. Boom, because I haven't done my auxiliary action yet. So this is gonna immediately let me to retrieve one of my folks. Um, I think I'm gonna retrieve an elder. Kaboom, and then of course when I flip over development tiles, I gain a gold. Boom. All right. I am going to place uh, this Swolger. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's going to be, I'm going to use it for a gray action. So that's going to be one, two, three, four. Uh, and I think I'm going to use those four, boom, to get this because these are two each. I am now going to get a purple blessing, which will give me all of these in a row, which means I'm going to get to move my tent. Yay, first tent movement. And that's going to give me another red blessing. Boom. Beauty. Um, and then I... Don't, oh, I could have the banners to do this. Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and throw this up here. It's going to give me two more um, gray banners. And because I cleared them off here, I can now build this section of wall. And I'll just go ahead and spend two stone to do so. So I'm going to build this section of wall. Let's draw three of these, see what we're going to get. Boom. Ooh, ooh, another tent movement, another altar. Oh, that's interesting. And then a bread and a coin. Hmm. I think we we'll do another altar because I've just been doing altar stuff. There you go. So boom, we're gonna go boom. This is gonna give me another red um, bump. Uh, okay. And then for these, let's go like this. Okay. All right, and I think that's me. That's you, eight. Yeah, I think so. All right, cool. I'm gonna play my teacher right here. And uh, that is going to give me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blue banners. Nice. Uh, which I will use along with two gold to place a worker as a scribe up here. Um, Ooh, what do you want? Hmm. So I could do it for free if I go to one of these spots, but I'm going to go over here. So I have to pay one silver for this worker that I'm jumping over. So bam. Uh, and the two gold to go up here. So at the end of the game, every five leftover money is worth a point. This would drop it down to three. So every $3 is a point. Um, this also gives me these foods, which are lovely. Oh, nice. And let's see. Getting terrified about food again. Yeah. So the trade action from the teacher who I just played is I can turn in as many times as I want food for money. <laughs> I think I'm gonna turn in two food for four money. I'll turn a five in, give it a one. Um, maybe for better or worse, we'll see. Hey, we'll, we'll see, see if that was a mistake. All right, I'm gonna put down a musician. I'm gonna do the blue action again. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I could go to the top, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to go here, which again, I'll use my own people, so I don't need to pay anything. It's going to cost me one gold, and I need six banners. I'm going to put you up here. Boom. And that basically means any um, gatekeepers I have, and then any people I have as traders, I don't have to pay food for. So that's essentially always going to be at least two people less I have to pay food for. And if I have anybody up here, it'll be more or less. So it's kind of like, well, if I'm worried about food constantly, which it seems like in this game, I'm going to be. And that mixed be, with this ability, I mean, you that's should what I'm be saying. okay. That's my hope, is that yeah. like I, I can have a, enough bread. That's <laughs> so, a good synergy, man. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Um, so that's good. I also get a um, bump. And do I think I'm going to bump anything specific? I don't think so. So we're just going to go ahead and go boop here. Okay, and I think that's it. I respect, I respect it. Um, copy that. Let's do this. I'm gonna place a mason out here over Mason. my teacher. 
Uh, and go for a gray action. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. Um, and I think I will use a worker as an elder here to get three more gray banners and a cinder. So I have nine gray banners. Um, and I am going to use four banners here to clear off these two stones. And then I need four Bring more banners. Um, ooh, hold on now. Maybe not that one. Let me think about this. So I, I want to be able to build. I'm going to do this trade. Can I do this trade? Sure. Sorry, it should be four. One's going to the water gate. Where's the water gate? Right. And I'll get some food. Sorry, that's one of the reasons why I played that one. I wanted to get food because I don't think I'm going to need money. Good, sorry. Mm, I'm trying to find a spot that's going to give me the ability to do what I want. Right? Yeah, it's, it's interesting because you, you have the banners with the rubble. Yeah. And then you're kind of like, uh, but I don't really want that blessing or I don't really want that or this or it's like, no. ugh, it's kind of tough. Man. Well, in that case, I think what I might do, I might change over to this wall section because I have nine banners. Ooh. So I might do this and use seven of them to clear, mm. just clear all this. Yeah. And get a purple blessing for clearing the rubble, but I won't have enough to build. Yeah. That's, that's still a good amount Still of stuff. not bad. Yeah, yeah, it gives me some gold to work with. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Okay. Keep it simple. Keep it simple, stupid kiss. Okay, I'm going to play my uh, singer now. Um, I am not going to do the trade because I don't have a gold, but I have one, two, three, four, five, and six red banners. And I am going to turn in the... Oh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a... Oh, I don't have any workers. Oh. I was going to put a new Levite out, but I guess I'm not because I don't have any workers. Mm. Oh, well, I will deliver these two wood to the altar, which is going to be one, two, three, and four. Mm -hmm. So it's going to give me a coin and a food. Coin and a food. And I get a tent movement, which is going to give me two more coins. That's why I wanted that trade last time. I was like, oh, I'm going to back to Yeah. I'm going to, I was like, oh, next turn, I know I'm going to do that. I'm going to get a lot of coins for that. So let's make sure we get our food going. And the cool thing is they're going to move to 14 next turn. So I'm already going to be... Ahead of them on the last one. You're crushing them. Nice. Yeah, we're doing that. I was like, oh, I guess we'll kind of just do a whole bunch of that. Um, okay, and I think that's it for me then. Okay. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Indubitably. Hmm. Um. All right, I think, so I have to cover up one of these two spots now. So I think I'm gonna go here with my singer. I have one, two, three, and then a permanent one up there. So four red banners. Mm. I don't have any workers to create uh, Levites with. So I'll leave that be. Um, so I will commit a, um, Mm -hmm. Calculating. Calculating. I think I'm gonna spend three banners, three red banners and a gold to add here, mm. which is gonna give me two points because we're making it fancy like. Boom. Uh, and I'll get a food Ready for that, that row, that particular row, which helps me out in a minute. Um, and then with my leftover one, I will spend one red banner and a cinders to move one space forward on the altar just to get Ooh, me out hey. of trouble, Yeah. Uh, if nothing else. So I yeah. think I'm gonna do that. Uh, I do have eight money, mm. so I'm going to turn in that eight to do oh, an yeah. auxiliary action and flip over. You get a ton of resources, so yeah, yeah. so now you, now you have no limit to how many you can hold. Yeah, and so and the other thing is is that this gives me a tent, so I can move my tent for the first time, Boop. which gives me a red blessing. And again, I'm now not limited mm -hmm. to the resources, and with the Sabbath, I can immediately pull a worker back and recommit them, which, which is, is also potentially very good nice. for food and stuff yeah, like that. So very, very nice. So happy with that, I think. Cool. That's me. Okay, so for me, oh man, I really want to build another section of wall, but I'm just not going to have the banners to do so. Right. So I'm kind of like, well, then should I just not do that? Um, and should I just do something else? Although I don't really have... It's meant to get my gold from my flipping and development tiles. So okay. Make sure I don't miss that. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. 
So it'd be two, three, four. Yes, okay, I can do that. Okay, I'm gonna do this right here. I am going to um, actually, I think I will do this. I'm gonna spend one coin to the valley gate and I'm just gonna get a stone for that. Boom, which I hope I can use next round. I don't know if I'm gonna flip any of these. I just have not been doing that, but that's, that's okay. part of your plan, yeah. So I'm gonna use one, two, three, four blue banners, and I'm gonna move my tent. So I can spend four, and I can move my tent twice. Nice. Uh, so I'm gonna go bop, bop. This is gonna get me a gold, and then this is gonna give me a purple blessing, which I mostly want because now I've reached all these spots with my blessings. I'm just trying to, try. I really should go there, to be completely honest. You are doing a pretty good job at it right I'm now. I'm already gonna have three points. I probably should, but we'll see. Um, and that gives me even more bread, and I think I'm gonna be mega set for bread, which is good. And I don't have any other workers to do any other actions, so I think I'm done skis. Okay. Brand skis. Um, right on, right on. So I'm going to cover up with a musician here, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six red banners. Mm -hmm. So, I can do two deliveries. Again, still on the worker to make a Levite, so won't worry about that. Um, so I'm gonna do two deliveries. I think I'm gonna go both to the temple here. Yeah, I was gonna try and finish that, but I was like, ah. Yeah. So I'm gonna spend four red banners and a gold. So I go boom, boom, two points for that. To go here, which gives me a tent movement. So Ooh. I'll go here and get two silver. Two coins. Interesting. Um, <laughs> right, you're like, ooh. <laughs> the options just increase. I know. <laughs> and I've got two more banners. I'll just use one banner oh, and get that, get that points. Uh, a gold to get two more points for that. There is no bonus for just the one banner, the, the lowest level there. But we have now completed a section of the temple. Each of these little columns is a section. Now question, even if this wasn't finished, could I then put something here? Like if this wasn't finished, let's say. Yes, of okay, course. Cool. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to work on one All section right, cool. at a time. Cool, yeah. perfect. That's what I thought. That's one. Um, but we have completed a section, yeah. so I'm going to get two bread for com being the person who put yes. the, the the last, uh, you know, nail in there. Uh, and then we're going to get whoever has the most Levites is going to get two points. We each have uh, so four points. Uh, each. Or two. two points each. So we'll go one, two, mm -hmm. one, two, and then you'll get a silver per Levite you've committed, which again will also Ooh, be nice. two in this case. Um, okay. okay. Let's see. Do I want to do this? Do I want to do this even? I'm trying to think. I'm trying yeah. to think. I haven't done an auxiliary action yet. Mm -hmm. And the musician's here. So I could pay a, a silver to the water gate and then pay one, two, three uh, yeah. silver for four food. It just yeah. seems nice. I think well, it's like even if you don't need it all, it's like you can save, save it for later, for, right? Yeah, it's That's like... what I'm thinking. So I think I'll do that with the money I just gained. And that will be my turn. All right, killer. Okay, so I guess we're gonna go to Sabbath because I started. Yep, we're gonna be preparing for the Sabbath so we can use our farmers, laborers, do any of these abilities. So this allows me to pull back a worker and recommit them as a farmer or laborer. Which is huge. Um, and this one gives me two silver and the ability to do auxiliary action. Auxiliary Ooh, action. could do another trade, oh, interesting. I could, I really, yeah. Or flip something, you got something to flip, but. I don't think I have anything I can flip, but I could like, Spend a stone for two silver. I, just, I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think yeah. I'm gonna forego that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think food wise, I should be okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. One, two, three, four. And I don't have any workers to do as farmers or as laborers. Um, although I actually, no, I do, because I'm gonna get a worker because I am ahead of the front one there. So. Ooh, what do I want to do here? Oh, I can probably get two. Let me use this as a labor and get two wood and a silver. Ooh, I'm gonna go here. Boom, and then I can get two resources. I think I'm gonna get two wood because I know I definitely want to build some walls slash I kind of want to get to the top of this altar because that's gonna give me more points and stuff. So yeah, I think we get two wood there. Nice. Okay. All right. Okay, so we're gonna do the prophet's judgment. So I'm gonna, again, be able to pull back a worker and recommit them. Uh, sure. I think I'm gonna do this and get a gold and two silver. Nice, yeah. Them. 
Uh, and what do you get, man? Um, I got my worker already. I did it already. And I it. put them here as, as a laborer. Okay, got it. Yep. Sweet. Okay, so we're going to move into the Sabbath. So you have to pay one uh, food per worker. I've so, got eight out there. I don't have to pay for gate people or for traders. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice. Which is huge. Cause that's, I don't have ten, gold, ten food. I do have seven. Right on. But, yeah, I was like, oh, that's, that's pretty killer. Nice. Okay. All right, so now we are in the second uh, Sabbath, so we have to tuck two cards from those we oh, played this round. Oh, that's right. And then we get to score all of them, so this is gonna be one for sure. So I know I'm doing, yeah, this one for sure. Ooh, that's interesting, because yeah, you're, you're losing stuff when you do so. Okay, I'm gonna tuck these two. So I'm gonna tuck these two, so this one right here is going to give me uh, one, my guardian tucked this one, this is gonna be one point plus one, more point for every scribe I have. I have five, so that's a lot. And then this is going to be for one point per uh, red blessing I have, of which I have four. So this one right here is going to be one point, two, three, four, five, six, and this will be four. So that's going to be uh, ten points plus this one is one point per uh, these kind of gold altar marks I've reached, which is four. So I'm going to get 14 total. Nice. And I'm going to use my lookout, which gets me one point plus one point per gatekeeper I have, which I have the two that we started with. And the teacher here is uh, points equal to your two highest placed uh, scribes according to where they will be at the end of the game. So it's going to be seven points for that. Oh, that's interesting. So I'm going to take that. Mm, yeah, that's good. Since I did kind of scribes early and often. And yeah, all. yeah. Well, I started doing it because I was getting those blessings. So I was like, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a whole bunch of these scribes out. Right. All righty. Kabam. Er, something like that. Boom. Okay. And then we'll move the, the profits. So they're going to go to 14, which is great because I'm already ahead of them. Oh, i got work to do. So I'm going to get five points at the end of the game from that. I know that, which is really nice. Um, okay. So move the profits. Get all our workers. Boom, boom, boom. I only have three here. Yeah. Um, you gain a new worker for being the furthest on the track. Oh, that's right. I get another worker here. Ooh, that's actually nice. And we'll shuffle up, deal again, and we'll be ready for round three. All righty, Mikey is first. So what are that you going to do? That is true. Um, I really want to balance out my stuff a little bit. So I think what I'm going to do... Hmm. So I'm going to need these over here. Oof, I need gold, I just realized. Hmm. I need everything. I need gold and money, like very badly. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm a little torn in terms of like what I want to do this round here. Yeah, me too. Kind of need to do like a lot of all three of the <laughs> main <laughs> things. Which is yeah. not ideal. Um. All right, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to play out a carpenter, and I only have one, two, three red banners, and maybe this isn't the best, hottest <laughs> start. I'm going to spend three red banners uh, and a wood on the altar here uh, to move two spaces Oop. forward. It's going to give me a purple. food and a purple blessing. We're going to start there, but I think it might help set me up for the future. Right. Um, hmm. So, where is there? They're both red, aren't they? Murph. Hmm. Real quick, while you go, I forgot to actually get my points for my Sabbath scoring. You do you. I'll be over here scoring points. Oh, you didn't actually have. <laughs> yeah, you didn't. Um, man, oh man, I need money, honey. Dang. Yeah, I need. I need many. So that'd be five coins. Yeah. Uh, okay. Sorry, I'm just kind of waffling here. Waffle, 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 waffle. Get this man a waffle, 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 waffle. Um, let's go. Guess we're gonna do this one. I'm gonna put a trader up here, which is gonna give me two coins and a bread. 
And I'm going to spend five coins, one of which is going to go to the east gate. Which one's the east gate? Supply. Oh, so, supply. Boom. And I'm going to spend basically five total to get two gold. Because I realized to get stuff up here, I need two gold to do yeah, so. Yeah, it gets expensive, man. And then I have three... Um, ooh, I have three gray banners, which means I think I'm going to take this gold, but then I'll have to get rid of something. I guess I could get this gate. Do you have three more gray Oh, banners? no, I don't. I don't have three more banners. Darn. Um, so I'd have to get rid of something. You could spend the three gold to do this. No, I, I need. I want this for this. I don't really want to. I think I'm not going to end up flipping anything. Go with me here. Don't do the top row of the scribes because I've already kind of like done that. I think bit. I'm going to do the top of yeah, the scribes. Makes sense. Uh, I think I will, and I think I'm going to get rid of a stone. Let's make room a stone. for my gold, girl. There you go. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, oh, what did I get? Oh yeah, no, we're good. Cool. You good? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna play a mason here, which is gonna give me one, two, three, four, five, and I'm gonna use an elder here to get three more gray banners and a cinders. So I have eight gray banners. I'm gonna to go to this section of wall, spend four clearing rubble, mm. and then the other four gray banners, two wood and a stone, uh, will build it. So for clearing the rubble, I gain a uh, an orange Blessing, which brings me up to here, so I'll move my tent again and gain a gold. We're always loving. Uh, and then I'll place a wall card. So I'll go one, two, three. <sighs> Let's see, what do I think is gonna be useful? I can get a point, some money, or a wood. I think I'm gonna take money. So I'm gonna pop that down here and take three silver. I'm gonna get three more too. Yeah, and since I made a connection with the gate, this is all me. I just get three silver and three, making six That's total. That's all me. It's all me. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do that with my... Interesting. With my goods. Okay. I'm going to do this teacher right here. Sure. Uh, it's going to give me one, two, three, four, five, six banners, so I'm going to have to use this to get three more. It's kind of a bummer, but that's what it is. So that's going to be nine banners total. I'm going to go to the top row here. Um, and I'm going to do this one right here, because this is going to give me one point for every, essentially, scribe I have down here, which I have five. That's a lot, yeah. Yeah, it's a decent amount. So I'll do that. I'll have to pay two gold for that, which is why I was like, oh my gosh, I need a ton of gold to do the things I want. Also, because I put a scribe out, I get a bump, and I'm just going to bump purple. Okay. Um, and I don't think I'm going to trade... No. Okay. I don't think so. So yeah. Respect. All right. Um, hmm. Okay. 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 We're getting there, fam. I don't. Uh, we're getting there. Kind of. I'm scared. We are. We are getting there. There is where we're getting. Oh man, this gets tough. Yeah, man. You ultimately only have 18 turns in the game, so it's like, it's it's not a ton, you know? It's not a lot. What you thinking, man? Um, I'm thinking about taking a turn. Wow, weird. Bold. Uh, uh, I'm going to place a jeweler out. Jeweler! Um, and... I am going to target this area here uh, and clear some rubble. So Cinders only takes one banner per, so uh, real quick, counting my grays, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven gray banners. I may use a worker to gain more. I'm going to find out in a second. I don't think I necessarily have to, though. Right. Um, so seven gray banners. I'm going to spend two of those clearing this, which will get me a red blessing. Um... And then I want to build there. I have no wood, but I could use banners and, and, gold. and or gold. Um, so I have seven, I've spent two, I have five left over. It's gonna take three banners and three wood. So I think I'm gonna do a trade with the jeweler here. 
So uh, the East Gate is taken already, so I will just place that to the supply. And I can pay one silver for a gold or four for two. Hmm. I think I'll pay four for two gold. And I'm just going to spend three gold and three banners to build a section of wall there, which is maybe wildly overpaying, but it's where we are. I mean, if you don't need the gold, you already flipped over your thing. Go for it, right? Yeah, like, kind of. Yeah, kind of. Um, ooh. Trixie choice. I think I'm going... I can take a blessing of my choice, gain a point, or what I'm going to do here mm. is get a bump up the altar. The altar. Boop. Which will just get me closer to not being as punished. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, you also get a cinder and a... Uh, I do. Since I made a connection with the gate and the wall there, I will get a wood and a cinders. Yeah. Um, cool. Okay, I am going to put this lookout in, um, and I am going to do the blue action. I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now I don't have to use the extra. Spending two more gold, putting them up here. Okay, so what? What do I? Ha what's going to give me the most points? I still think it's going to be this, like sets of. Boom. Yeah, because I'm going to have, have three points. Well, I'm going to have four because I'm going to bop this up for this ability to put a scribe out. Nice. So we're gonna, boom, that's going to give me a gold back, which is cool. Um, yeah, because that's four points. I don't think anything else is going to give me any four points. So I think we'll do that. Bop, 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 bop. Seven. Yep. All right. Nice. Um, very good, very good. Let's Very good. let's do let's do this. I'm gonna cover up my mason with my singer, and I am going to do the red action. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven banners. Um. Do I want to commit a worker as a Levite? Golly, I just don't know. Golly. I think I'm not going to on this one. Maybe that's a mistake. Dumb <sighs> guy move. Maybe, maybe. Uh. Um, <laughs> with my seven banners, I'm going to spend three and a wood to commit to the altar here and go up two spaces on that track. Hey. So it's going to give me a silver and a red blessing. Whoops. Nice. Right away there. Red bump. Red bump, we liking that there. Um, and then I still have four more. Mm. Hmm. I will spend... I think I'll spend four, those four and a stone to go here, mm. uh, which will give me one point and a bump of my tent, which gives me a purple blessing. blessing. Nice. I'm gonna get my orange to catch up here. Yeah, right. Um, and then I have five cinders, which I'm going to Ooh, yeah. flip flop it. Flip flop into a uh, development. And I'm gonna get a food, two silver, and a gold, oh my, because I get that from my technology over there. Hey, you flipped almost everything. Trying, man. Trying, yeah, you're trying. Good. You're doing really good. I flipped nothing. It's wild. That's how it is sometimes. All right, you did? I'm good. I'm going to play my Mason. Um, and I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight gray banners. So I can definitely clear stuff and... Build. So I think I'm going to clear these two stone, which is going to be four. Um, and I have four more. That is also going to give me a purple bump. Blam. Um, and then I have four more. So I am going to build this gate here. I'm going to spend two stone. I think I'm going to spend a gold instead of a wood because I want to use my wood on this altar. 
So I think I'm going to spend gold instead because I don't really have much like, oh, I need to spend gold on this thing. So might as well. Um, okay, and then I can put a building out. One, two, three. Let's see what we get here. Money, stone, or a tent movement. A tent movement would give me two food. I am starting to get worried about food again. A stone I don't think I need. Three money is always nice, though. Yeah, three money is kind of always nice, though. It's not bad. Let's do the tent movement, though, because let's just try and stay ahead of the food game. I don't have to put out too much food because I have those a um, little bit of bonuses, but um, that's still, still a bit spoopy. Okay, so there's that, and then I don't think I'm going to build a wall again, so I think I'm going to use this trader, and I'm going to uh, spend a stone to get two more coins because I don't think I'm doing any more building. Also, sorry, because I built next to my own gate here, I'll get that gold back, which is also one of the reasons why I was fine with using it. Fantastic. Um, man. Tough stuff, eh? Just getting worried about food again. That's fair. Mad worried about food. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to place a soldier down. Uh, and I'm going to use my one... My one, two, three, four blue banners to move my tent twice. So I will gain two food, boom, and then a new worker. And I don't think I need to do a trade for more workers. I think I'm gonna hang on to my cash because I think I got what I need. Okay, I'm gonna put out my singer here. Um, man, I, I got this Levi ability. I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm going to have used it in the entire game. You means, got both those in there before you ever got Yeah, but which means I probably know. should have chosen something else. I definitely should have chosen That's this. Or two points, if nothing else. Yeah, well, I, I should have done this instead because I could have gotten a coin every time I traded, which would have been nice, but eh, it's what it is. I was like, oh, I'm going to use that a ton. I'm like, nope, no, you're not. Okay, so I'm going to see here. I have one, two, three, four, five red banners. Mm -hmm. I'm going to spend three of them to... Chuck this wood into the altar, which will go bop, bop, which is going to give me a gold. And then I am going to spend my last two to bop this gold into this spot, which is going to give me two points and a coin. Ooh, I, I don't know how I'm going to feed my people. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be fine. Yeah. Just trust it. Uh, no, I think I'll be able to. Blind trust. Oof, tough. Okay, interesting. Uh, and I think that's me, man. Okay. Um, my last turn, hey. Yeah, dude, last turn, man. Make it count. I'm going to use this card to hold on to this one. I'm going to put them here. I have to put them there. I'm going to go blue action again. I got one, two, three, four, five blue banners, and I will use a worker as an elder to get three more and a silver. Ooh, eight, So huh? I have eight blue banners. I'm going to use seven of them, two gold. Yeah. And my up. final worker... I'll follow my whole, my whole own trail up here. Yeah. Uh, this will be the, this leftover card, basically, at the end of the game, I can do it for its Sabbath scoring. Yeah, so you get to score an extra yeah. thing, which is Plus pretty huge. Of course, huge. worth the four yeah. points, which is sweet. So I'm gonna do that. I only have one blue banner left over. I wish I had one more so I could get one more tent movement, but I, I know, just right? I can't do it. Can't do it. I don't think. Um, do I need food? Because that's what this can do. You get a decent um, amount. While you start to go, I'll figure that out. I think I'm okay. I'm going to put this uh, musician out. I am definitely going to do the thing on the bottom. It's going to cost me four. I'm going to spend one on the water gate and the other three to the supply. And that's going to be four food, which is going to give me exactly what I need because I think I need eight. <laughs> so uh, let me just count. So I need one here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I'm going to have enough food. That's great. And then I'm going to do red banners again. I have one, two, three, four, five, and six. I am going to spend a wood, boom, to get up to here. I'm going to wow. get two points, nice, boom. Man. And then I will spend the other, uh, so that was three. I have three more. Yeah, and I'll spend another one to get boop, 
Another gold in there, so it's gonna be two more points and another bread. Mm, it's gonna come down to it, man. Uh, it's gonna be, I, I have no idea <laughs> oh, who's gonna, man. but it is very I don't close. either, man. <laughs> and I think that's it. I have no resources, no money, a ton of bread, so I used everything. Is that not always that's good. the most, That's a good like, thing, right? Like, what you hope for. I used everything I had. Look, it's just leaving gate and the table. <laughs> I, mean, I could have built a gate. At one point I was like, ah, neither of us built it a It kept ton. working for me to build walls next to my gate. The keepers. last game of this, I built a ton of walls. Yeah. And I got yeah. a ton of points from it. So, hey, yeah. you know. Just all depends right. Depends on the motion of the ocean. So, uh, we go into the Sabbath, yeah? Yeah, preparing for the final Sabbath will work a little bit different just because we're not going to, you know, set up for another round and yeah. stuff. But we can do all of our kind of preparing actions I have no workers First. for farmers' laborers or anything like that. So I'm going to take my from my technology yeah. here, or my uh, scribe, I should say, um, my scroll, I should say. Uh, I'll get Boom. two silver, and I can do an auxiliary action. I just don't know if there's any trades or anything I'll need to do, and I don't have the four stone I need for that. So well, I'll just simply take the money. This allows me to pull back a worker and recommit them for another purpose, and this one right here gives me a food, which should be the final food I need if I can right. count. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Okay, we're good. Yep, so this person gonna go here, and I'm gonna get two silver and a gold. Yeah, why not? Why not? So that'll get converted into money anyway, which should be worth yep. points. And I have no workers to do any of that. We will do the profits judgment. So I'm gonna just get five points. And then Mikey is in the middle, so Mikey's gonna lose a bread. I do. So actually, we'll you want to change that? Yeah. I'm just gonna spend. I'll spend two and spend two and uh, get uh, a food there. Now we're good. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So that is awesome. Um, and then, okay. And then also because it's the last Sabbath here, I'm gonna get an extra. Well, I guess that's end game points. We'll do that in a second, but. You don't get a worker because there's no point for it. Yep. Okay, so now we're going to have to feed our people. I need uh, eight. I need nine. And I have nine. So we are, boop, good to go. Yep, wow. We have to tuck one final card for scoring. That's right. I think I know what I'm going to tuck. I think this one here is going to be by far worth the most. Right. I think for me, uh, this one here will give me four points. So we'll do that. Nice. Okay. All righty. Okie dokie. So what are your points from all that? I'm going to get, I have four purple blessings, so I will get one, two, three, four. My two highest scribes are both on the top, so I'll get yeah. eight points for that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I have two gatekeepers, plus one is three, one, two, three. And then my scribes plus one, one, two, three, four, five, and one is six. Brings nice. me up to 61 to start the end game scoring. Uh, and then do you want to score the one in your hand? Uh, well, I'm, we're just doing this right here first. Oh, okay, cool. Have you done all that? No, no, not yet. I just, okay. I just know, or you want to do it in. So this one, same thing. I'm going to score the top highest. That's going to be eight points because I have two in the very top here. So that's going to be 51. This one here is me for every red blessing. I did get four. Boom. This one here is for every scribe plus one. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven plus one is eight. Man, I was the scribe. You guy. were. I, I took over the scribe game. And then this is for every one of these gold spots I reach. It's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Jeez. All right, that's going to be uh, a little tricky. Okay, so now we're yeah. going to go into the end game, which again is also on the backside of your player aid there. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to convert stuff into silver. So any gold is three silver, wood and stone are two, cinders are Nothing. one. I'll get three. Zero points. <laughs> Peak efficiency. Um, all right, so we're going to do that. Then we're going to go into the areas of scoring. Uh, first off is every five silver is a point. I get to get a three. That's a That's a... Big difference for you. Yeah, you yeah. have a ton of coins. That's what I was hoping. I was like, maybe I can stack some money here. So I've got two, three, four, five. five. That's a point. Nice. That's a big difference. I mean, it would have only gotten a couple if you had stayed yeah. at five there. You needed okay. that for sure. And then two perfect development tile. That's all you. Yeah, but I've got one, two, three, four things flipped, so I'm going to get eight points there. Yeah, see, I, I don't, I think you're going to have more AM scoring here. We'll see here. Uh, three victory points of the altar leader. I am the altar leader. You are indeed. All right, victory points from walls and gates. So on each wall card is uh, points and stuff. I've got two, four, seven, it looks Ooh, like. Oh, nice. So put me on 81. I only have, I think, these two. So that's five. Do I only have two? Yeah. Yep. Oh. Okay. All right, from scribes and scrolls. So again, where the scribes are located, then for these top row, which we each will do. So I'll just quickly go for uh, 
a warrior minor play. So I'm gonna get one point here, two for this one. So that's gonna be three points. Uh, this is another three is six, okay. and then each of these are four, so six, 14. Uh, 14. So you're at nine to five. Okay. okay. Um, and then you want to score your... Yeah, so I've already done the, the silver that one, yeah. part. This one here is basically the one leftover card you have. Yeah. I get to score as if it's the Sabbath scoring. So this is going to be one point plus a point for each uh, flipped over development tile, so we'll get five more points nice. there. It's going to put Ooh. me on a cool 100. A cool 100. Nice. All right, man. What do you got? All right, so I'm going to get one, two... Yep. Uh, four, six, yep. nine, and then eight is going to be 17. Oof. That's, so that's scary, 94. Man. Yep. Yep. 94. Oh, man. Uh, this one's going to be for every set I have of my blessings. It's going to be four. One, two, three, four. Oh, I think I'm just going to take yeah. it. And this is going to be for one for every in the bottom three. It was one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Wow. That was close. Oh. That was so close. Yeah, he jumped oh. up into the, the scrolls, man. God, they killed me. Uh, wow, nice. that so was really close. 103 to 100 is the score. Very well done, sir. Uh, you may may put your little comeback. I had my little areas. I was, I was you were doing, yeah, working yeah. my synergies and stuff, but that is the game of Jerusalem. So that was, boom, a very close game of Ezra and Nehemiah. So close, dude. So that was about as close as you can get. A couple God. different points. That was it. You're like, oh, gosh, there was somewhere, somewhere I could have gotten a couple points. Definitely there is. It, right? But Definitely hey, there is. that is Ezra and Nehemiah. Big shout out to Garfield Games again for sponsoring uh, sponsoring this playthrough and just supporting us in general. They're always lovely to us. We always appreciate it. Again, check out the description of this video uh, for a link to the upcoming campaign or if the campaign is live for the campaign for Ezra and Nehemiah. Uh, and uh, let us know what you think about this one in the comments below. Indeed. We'll see you later. Bye.